another former international in Mark Vilnox. He's been in charge of Belgium for a year now. It's all gone pretty well so far. His team is still unbeaten in 2013. So Serbia in white get the game underway. And they didn't keep possession very long there, and the ball goes straight away back to the Belgian goalkeeper, Courtois. Slightly untidy touch there, but he has got the throw. And there's Mitrovic. So much is expected of him. 15 goals in his first season in the Partizan first team. Delaney. Forward by company. Milalas is after it. And it has gone out of play. The Belgium do benefit from plenty of pace on the wings. The Brown on the right, Miralas on the left. And we saw there straight away how Vincent Company was keen to try and see if Miralas could get in behind. Important interception from Van Burton. Delaney, and that's tidy from Benteke. Interbron is away. Well, Miralas was lurking on the far post. But De Bruyne couldn't find him. Serbia hadn't kept possession well there at all. Needed to take the pressure off. And instead, it could have gone straight back on. from him by Basta. And cleared, not too elegantly, by Van Burton. There's that earlier break. And Teke feeding De Bruyne. Just needed a better final ball. A handball given. Nevertheless, good break out of midfield by Lazar Markovic. He just flicked up there and used his hand to control it. Company so comfortable on the ball. 55th appearance for Belgium tonight. Miljovic. Subotic. Milanovic, the captain, finds Basta. Nenad Subotic was very positive ahead of this game, saying that Serbia can win in Belgium. They certainly have to believe that they can. Here's Benteke. Holds the ball up and waits for Chadli to arrive. Couldn't quite pick him out, though. Moves not dead. Here's Miralas. Well, a good bit wide in the end, but... No shortage of confidence there from Kevin Miralas. Belgium warmed up for this game against Serbia with a 4-2 victory in Cleveland in the United States of America. The end of May. 
They look extremely impressive. Tadic trying to make room for a shot. Basta getting involved and Fellaini getting back and helping out his defence. Ball bounces off Ivanovic. De Bruyne won't get to that. Cleared upfield by Vladimir Stojkovic. At 29, the oldest in the squad. Here's Van Gogh. Company looks for a little bit of movement in front of him. Misunderstanding there, Benteke came short looking for it and instead Company looked to loop it over the top. Witzel. That's got to be a little bit careful there, not to get caught in possession in his own half. Did well. He's Aldevarat. Offside given against Penteke. 23 League and Cup goals last season. Goodness. That was very, very close indeed. Serbia, the White Eagles, starting off third in Group A, but a long way behind, seven points from their six games, both Croatia and Belgium at the top of the table, Belgium actually top on goal difference, have 16 points each. Subotic, his face up. Now Tadic, too easily disparate, possessed there by Aldevarelt. Benteke's after this. Overhit by Jan Vertonghen. Saying in the build up to this game, Vertonghen, that individually only Germany and Spain are better than Belgium in Europe. And bit by bit, the FIFA rankings are starting to reflect that. Up three places from their previous high now, from 15th up to 12th in the world, according to the FIFA rankings. Serbia actually rose as well. And they are 36. Kolarov. Markovic too easily dispossessed. It's been very hot in Brussels today. Clear skies and warm sunshine. Bound to be a little bit sapping for the players out there. Subotic. Better from Serbia. The company dealt well with the cross. Snapshot. Easily dealt with. 
by Thibaut Courtois. Kalarov joining the attack. Mitrovic was waiting, but Kalarov first time with the shot on the turn. We've had 10 minutes and neither goalkeeper has been troubled so far. There's Nevin Subotic, whose last major fixture was the UEFA Champions League final. This is Borussia Dortmund team eventually lost to Bayern Munich. I mentioned the FIFA rankings. It's actually Croatia and Serbia who were top two seeds in Group A when the draw was made. As recently as a year ago, Belgium were 54th in the world. They have shot up the rankings to 12th. Free kick given. Well, Markovic starts on that left wing, but he loves to cut in. Shoved over by Axel Witzel. Plays his football in Russia now with uh, Zenit, St. Petersburg. It's a long way out. Subotic is the target. Advantage played. I think there was a nasty challenge there that the Tongan was on the end of. Here's De Bruyne. No offside against Benteke. He's muscled himself into the penalty area. Managed to keep possession as well. The Tongan. It's gone a long way. And it's headed in by Kevin De Bruyne. His third international goal. And it gives Belgium the lead against Serbia inside 13 minutes at the start. Rao Bogdan. Well, Rumox looks on wants to give a few instructions to his players and tell them to keep their heads but this was a lovely cross from the left boot of Yang Vertonghen Kevin De Bruyne comes in and Stokovic is beaten on the near post goalkeepers never do like to be beaten on the near post well for those of you who believe in assists that was certainly an assist for Jan Vertonghen. Well, that's just the start that Belgium wanted. First effort on goal. First effort on goal from either team, in fact. And it wasn't a glorious bit of goalkeeping from Vladimir Stokovic of Partizan. Well, without backlift all the way to the halfway line, but to his Chelsea teammate, if you get my meaning. Ivanovic on the halfway line with the header. Tadic spreads the play to Basta. Good defending just for a moment. It looks as if the ball might drop to Mitrovic. 
Here's Ivanovic. Does like to get forward from fullback. He's actually criticised for a little bit too much of that in the 3-0 defeat that Serbia suffered in Belgrade against Belgium earlier in this Group A campaign. Here's another look at that goal. Nil to Belgium. De Bruyne with the header. And King Albert and his grandchildren enjoyed that one. All sorts of VIPs, the Prime Minister here as well. Just for a moment, that looks risky. Elidu Rupa, the Prime Minister. Enjoying a warm evening in Brussels and a good start to the game for the Red Devils. Kolarov will keep that in. No one really showed for him. And Belgium have it back with company and now Witzel. Benteke is through here, still Benteke, well he got his feet in a tangle at the end of it all, never mind that he didn't manage to finish off the move, what a good move it was, Chadley with the little ball forward, Benteke just with the double touch that ended the danger, and it stays 1-0, let's give some credit to the goalkeeper there, there was just a hand on the ball from the goalkeeper, in 13 appearances for Christian Benteke. This is his 14th outing for Belgium. Born in Kinshasa in the DR Congo. Late challenge there. Milivojevic caught. Very important role, Milivojevic and uh, Face that the two defensive midfielders they've got to protect the back line. Trouble is now that a goal has gone in, the focus switches to the other end for Serbia. <laughs> Subotic. There's no easy ball on for the goalkeeper here. That's why he's taking so long to clear it. Good pressing, good covering from the Belgians. That's a neat turn from Basta. That's a short ball from Ivanovic. But an ankle tap from Chadli on Milivojevic. Uh, Seems it'll be a free kick. Mihailovic looks on. Basta gathers, can he get his shot away? Witzel clears his Shadley. Oh, delightful skills from the FC Twente player. Markovic. Just manages to keep that in play, but it's then taken off his toes by the goal scorer, De Bruyne. Here's Shadley. And Belgium work it to the other wing and Miralas. Shadley. And Serbia with an awful lot of white shirts between the ball and the goal. 
can't afford to concede another, but equally they have to show some ambition. It's important that they get themselves a goal and get themselves back into this game. Miralas. A good first season at uh, Everton in the English Premier League after joining from Olympiacos. Here's De Bruyne. Tadic. Milivojevic. Well, it isn't quite working at the moment for Serbia. Mark well, Wilmot barking out instructions. Took over from George Likens just over a year ago. Unbeaten in the group, as are Croatia. A draw between the two of them, the only blot on either of their records. Faisa. You can see the intention there from De Bruyne trying to bring in Shadley and then get going. Didn't get his touch right. Serbia did beat Scotland last time out. Two goals from Filip Juricic. In fact, they've won three of their last four, all told, which is why they've risen in the FIFA rankings, but they have lost three of their last four qualifiers, winning just that game against Scotland. Problem has been conceding goals. Just one clean sheet in five qualifiers. Is Basta trying to do something about it with the help of his captain Ivanovic? Faisa Livrievic. Is Basta. Still Basta. A handball given. Very difficult to avoid the ball hitting his hand, but Mitrovic is penalised. Let's watch how it flicks up here. I'm not sure he knew much about it. It does have to be deliberate, but free kick given. Well, there is the bench. A very strong bench it is as well. Eden Hazard does have a hamstring injury at the moment. And you think that, uh, you look at the bench, the Belgian bench really is very strong indeed. Been a few fouls by Witzel, got to be a little bit careful. Doesn't want to collect suspensions and miss a qualifying game. Referee Lenoir laying down the law to Kevin De Bruyne. Glum faces on the Serbian bench. Serbia have only beaten Wales and Scotland in the group. Haven't managed to get results against the likes of Croatia and Belgium so far. Remember they lost 3-0 in Belgrade. Perhaps only tells half the story for a lot of that game. Serbia looked quite sharp and they created chances, ultimately paying the price for failing to put them away. As Belgium went and racked in three goals.
from Checo De Bruyne and Miralas, the scorers. Here's the Tongan. De Bruyne has switched wings for now. De Bruyne again, that's a lovely ball. Out of our elves. Oh, the goalkeeper wanted that for himself. Instead, Mishevac was there. Look at this ball in from Aldevarald. Goalkeeper just about to grab it for himself. Faisa. It's Milivojevic. Ivanovic, 61st appearance for Serbia tonight. Been an international since 2005. Mitrovic and Ivanovic has forced the first corner of the match. Left-footed in swinger, so they've brought, brought Kolarov all the way over to take it. Well, that was stabbed just wide by Ivanovic. Well, there's a lesson in that for Belgium. That could so easily have been the equaliser. Not a bad connection. And Courtois was only able to watch it. Sadly, has a very free roll behind Benteke and drift to one wing or the other, knowing that he's got the defensive strength of Witzel and uh, Fellaini to protect the back line. Van Burton back to his goalkeeper. Now, Benteke unchallenged there, couldn't find a teammate. Facer. Safety first from Van Burton. Markovic. It's a good run from Markovic. He's a little bit unlucky. It's taken a double touch and it's gone for a goal kick. Didn't dare get the tackles in. Just in case. And there is the Prime Minister. Alongside the Queen, Paula. Subotic and Basta swap passes. Faisa. This is a little bit better from Serbia. They're keeping the ball better. And there's a bit more movement. It's a lovely touch from Mitrovic. Unfortunately, Faisa couldn't find him again. Dusan Tadic plays for Twente. 
teammate of Nasser Shadli. Belgium have been at 11 World Cups in total, but not since Korea and Japan in 2002, and they lost in the last 16 against Brazil. No disgrace in that, but it's time for them to return to the big stage. Certainly the hopes and expectations of this sellout crowd in the Stade Raul Baudouin. He's Basta. Well, Ivanovic went on the overlap, clattered into Miralas. Well, we've had that one goal. This is the effort from Branislav Ivanovic that went just wide, easily Serbia's Best effort so far, although it wasn't strictly speaking on target. It wasn't far off. The referee doesn't like that challenge at all. And he wants words with Alexander Mitrovic. And Alexander Mitrovic's first appearance for Serbia. Sees him collect a red card on 32 minutes. Yeah, studs showing. Witzel felt that. Certainly worth a yellow card. Well, that's nice to see at least. Well, there's Lisa Mikhailovic. Well, he has said that he'll resign if they lose this game because it will end their chances of qualification. He's got a deal through to the middle of next year, but he says he won't hang around. He'll perhaps stay to the end of this year, but he'll allow somebody else to take charge for 2014. So this is a big night for Mihailovic. Won four of his 12 games in charge and lost six. What can Belgium do with this corner kick from De Bruyne? It's good goalkeeping. And again, the referee doesn't like that challenge. And in addition, there is a head injury for Vincent Company. Well, Company is really in pain here. And there is an awful lot of blood coming from... Vincent Company's nose. It was a nasty collision. And I think the referee is attaching the blame to Company. A free kick's been given, and I'm sure it's to Serbia, not Belgium. And this will not be pleasant to watch. Oh, goodness. That is a clash of heads. Well, Company must be made of rock he's up on his feet and as we look at it again I can tell you that he's making his way to the side he'll obviously have to have a a bit of treatment to that nose but he'll come back on if he can out a picture by the way the players are just taking the opportunity to grab a drink of water. It is a hot night. Ivanovic. This Belgian team show a lot of flair going forward, but they get their players behind the ball when the defending has to be done as well. Hard working. And as a consequence, Serbia are finding it very hard to find gaps and decent goal-scoring opportunities. Here's Ivanovic.
Facer, clever ball. Basta takes over, stayed on his feet. Well, how did that stay out? Markovic can't believe he hasn't equalised. Well, this is much better from Serbia. Basta could have gone to ground. I'll try and get another look at that later. Lovely touch from Fellaini to Witzel. And Vansan Kompany is able to come back onto the pitch with his nose patched up. So Belgium are back up to their full 11 players. Here's Witzel. De Brown just eased off the ball there by uh, by, by Facer. A strong challenge, but the referee seen nothing wrong with it from Milivojevic. And company puts the ball out of play. Because the next Belgian player to need some treatment is Marouane Fellaini. He's got a knee there from Milivojevic. Here's this earlier chance. Basto with the cutback. It scuffed a little bit there. It wasn't the cleanest collection, connection from uh, Lazar Markovic. That's a good chance. Our oh, company's been told to get more treatment to the nose. The rules are very strict these days about any blood being spilt. Players are regularly asked to change their shirts as well if any blood is spilt on that. The speed at which companies are going off for treatment probably tells you that he's not too happy about it all. Well, not showing concern, and so too the fourth official, Rudy Bouquet. So Belgium down to ten at the moment. They have got Nicolas Lombatz on the bench, another defender if they needed to make a change. Is Kolarov. Tadic tried to take it in his stride. Here's Vishevac. Well, it's just a light for your play from Belgium. Sweet stuff all the way, and here's Shadley receiving from Benteke. Too easily pass Vishevac, and finally a foul. Nasser Shadley, who was born in Liège and started with the youth teams at Standard there before Drifting to Maastricht and Apeldoorn. But now at age 23, he's an important player for Twente. Kevin de Bruyne will take the free kick. Been on loan at Werder Bremen, but is a Chelsea player. Well defended by Ivanovic. Fellaini. Fellaini provides a huge physical presence, of course, in the midfield, but he can play a bit as well. And he knows where the goal is. Well, we move towards the final five minutes of the first half, and I think the best news for Serbia is that they've only conceded one. Oh, Benteke. No offside. Just couldn't gather. It's 
Serbia or their predecessors, Yugoslavia and Serbia Montenegro, who have also been at 11 World Cups. Including the last three. And it's not looking good for them to make that four in a row. Five euros as well, and uh, twice runners up in their Yugoslav days. Fellaini is fouled. The company is going to have another go. It really was a mighty collision. Basta, in a hurry. Mitrovic, Basta. Fellaini, and he's tapped by Basta. Domestically in Serbia, Partizan have retained the Superliga. Helped by the goals of Alexander Mitrovic. They've now won six in a row and 14 of the last 21. I wonder what Mihailovic has got lined up in the way of words of wisdom for his players at half time. Belgium haven't won this yet, and it'll be dangerous if they think they have. Livojevic. Milivojevic again, his facer. Tadic wanted it, but didn't get it. Milivojevic looks for Basta. Well, that's well worked, and it's a lovely turn from <laughs> Mitrovic, and as soon as he felt any contact, he went to ground. In his defence, there was a fair old shove there from Vincent Company. Kolarov being told to wait for the whistle by referee Stefan Lanois. Well, it's a fair way out, but it looks as if Alexander Kolarov is thinking about a go at goal. Three Serbs in the Belgian wall. Kolarov has got a very good left foot. He's hit better free kicks than that in his time. nothing right about that one and you can see his frustration so this is Mihailovic was an absolute specialist when it came to taking free kicks holds the record in Serie A with 29 goals from free kicks and his time with clubs such as Lazio and Inter, Sampdoria as well. We have had injuries in the first half, most notably to Vincent Company. And two minutes we are expecting to be on the fourth official's board. Well, Fellaini was almost away there. Stojkovic organises his defence in front of him. There's confirmation, confirmation coming from the stadium announcer of a couple of minutes added to the half. Oh, Fellaini with the header. 
Well, he got goal side of his marker, Subotic. In the end, it was comfortable enough for Stojkovic. Highly rated at Everton, got a deal through to 2016, but there is said to be interest from Manchester United. Talking of interest, there's scouts from 15 or 20 of the top clubs in Europe at this game tonight, having a little look. Witzel brings in Vertonghen. And there's Kevin Miralas, Everton teammate of Fellaini. Witzel's roots, we go back far enough, are in Martinique. Again, tidily played out of defence by Belgium. They're also comfortable on the ball. And the referee brings the first half to an end. Belgium won Serbia nil the score. Kevin De Bruyne, the scorer, with a header on 13 minutes. And Serbia. Well, there's Vincent Company. He's had his nose patched up a bit more at half time. And hopefully, they've put a stop to the bleeding. That really was quite a collision between him and Vladimir Stokovic. The Serbian goalkeeper just the one goal in the first half Kevin De Bruyne on 13 minutes there he is he's been on loan at Werder Bremen and before that at Genk but he is a Chelsea player It'd be interesting to see if Chelsea start to use him soon no substitutions at half time for either team so Belgium in the red will get the second half underway just as soon as referee Stefan Lanois has done all these checks and blown his whistle. Not so much at stake tonight, although Belgium can't absolutely secure anything other than a guaranteed top two finish. Serbia if it stays like this they will not be in Brazil next year and frankly even if they win their chances are very very slim but they have to believe they have to show more attacking intent in the second half they've got to try and get themselves back into it and get something out of this game and perhaps extend the reign of their coach Sinisa Mihailovic here's the brown Off from Benteke. And good. Here's the ground. And Burton's father was a wrestler. Which, of course, people draw attention to whenever. There's a foul by Daniel. The contract is just expiring at Bayern. We'll see what the future holds for Daniel van Burden. Kolarov.
Subotic to Basta. No foul given. And Belgium are looking to take full advantage. Here's Benteke. Will it run for him? It'll be a corner and nothing more. But it all started with that very strong challenge from Vertonghen. Well, Benteke was taking on all comers. And in the end, it's going to be a corner. Kevin De Bruyne stands it up. Fellaini's there. There's a foul on the goalkeeper given, though. Whistles echo round the stadium. Fellaini rises. He's got his hands on the back of Stokovic. It's a good decision. The game's been calmly refereed by... Stefan Lanois so far, just the one yellow card for Alexander Mitrovic, fully deserved. Stud showing. Well, Belgium had a golden era and a Kutais in the 80s and early 90s. They're hoping that they're standing on the verge of a new golden era. You look at the players that aren't taking part today, Eden Hazard, Moussa Dembele on the bench. Bruce Mertens, fine winger for PSV in the Eredivisie as well, not to be forgotten. It's not just a team they're building here, it's a, a veritable generation of players. That's a lovely bit of skill there from the Tongan. Forward pass at the end of it all didn't quite match the initial take. Kolarov, this is a strong run from Kolarov. Oh, sorry, from Markovic. And Markovic. Goes right past company. There's no foul there as he goes flying. Has got pace, Lazar Markovic. Kolarov trying to find Markovic has overhit that one though Markovic is pacey but not that quick and Toby Alderweireld rolls it back for his goalkeeper to take the goal kick he's more comfortable in central defence Belgium have got rather a lot of central defenders though and what they perhaps lack in this new group of players is specialist fullbacks. The company. Bastard's going to try and chase this down. Dealt with by Kutwai. Tadic. Livojevic spreads the play. Livojevic again. It's Miralas. Oh, it's beautifully done again. What a good game for Tongan, hasn't he? Including setting up the goal. Here's Shadley. Offside this time against Benteke. Uh, Shadley, Moroccan roots, she made four appearances for Morocco, but they were in friendlies, and he's now changed to Belgium. 
was born in Belgium, in Liège. Away by Vertonghen. Subotic is fouled. It'll be a free kick to Serbia. What did I do wrong, says Christian Benteke. Bastos cross. Nothing there for Alexander Mitrovic to get on the end of. Dusan Basta plays for Udinese in Serie A. stretches his legs his brother Dogan was recently called up to the Belgian squad for the first time for the friendly in the USA Serbia are finding it very difficult to create space out there. Belgium closing them down. Mark Vilmot's just looking a little bit concerned there. He knows that for all that his team have been the better side, they only lead by a goal to nil. is all about is getting to Brazil in time for June the 12th when the tournament starts just over a year from now Belgium remember top the group on goal difference from Croatia Croatia plays Scotland tonight Mitrovic. Milivojevic looking for an option. It's a long way out. He's forced to save. Not a bad hit from Dusan Basta. And just a word there from Courtois for his defenders. He wants Fellaini to get to Dusan Basta quicker than that and prevent the shot coming in. Well, a crept into the goal is Markovic. Kolarov stands it up, spotted early by the goalkeeper and cleanly claimed. Not a bad attempt at releasing Miralas as well. Miralas applauds the attempt by Courtois. Milivojevic, Faisa, Kolarov, and now Markovic. It's a very good ball. Basta forced a little bit wide. Moves not dead yet, but it is now. Well, if Serbia could get something out of this game go into their next fixture in Group A, which is against Croatia in September, with increased confidence. Well, Tadic wants a corner kick, but he's surely wafted that over the bar. Here's the earlier attempt, as Basta tries to get a cross in. Had the sting taken out of it by the deflection. Thibaut Courtois is 21 years old now. A Chelsea player who has been on loan at Atletico in Madrid for the last two seasons. 
on the Europa League and the Copa del Rey. A trophy in each of those two seasons in Spain. But when will Chelsea decide to bring him to London? And to put some pressure on their number one, Petr Cech, we shall see. The climbing there from Mitrovic. Joined Partizan at the age of 11, Alexander Mitrovic. One of the rising stars of Serbian football. Talk of Arsenal showing an interest in him. Meanwhile, Mark Wilmox gives some instruction to Musa Dembele. We get the feeling that he might be coming on soon. Free kick. And Musa Fellaini continues to warm up. I'm hearing that it may be Marwan Fellaini who is replaced. Final instructions for the Tottenham Hotspur midfielder. Brown with the free kick. Well, it's skidded in. Well, it's put behind for a corner kick. Could have gone anywhere. Well, it was Mitrovic back defending. And another go for De Brown. Fellaini with the header! And that's 2 0 now to Belgium. And surely that is another three Group A points for the Red Devils. Well, the first corner kick was dealt with. The second has ended in a seventh international goal for Maro Anfellaini in front of the King of Belgium and the Queen and the grandchildren and there it is again well for Fellaini it's his first goal in this World Cup 2014 qualifying campaign I think it's fair to say he moved his marker out of the way but he got away with it and 2-0 it is I wonder if that changes Wilmot's thoughts about making a substitution. given against the ground. There's a slight feeling of nervousness about the crowd for much of this game. But they're celebrating now. They think that that's the goal that wraps up the three points for their team. Remember, only 213 Serbians said to be in the stadium. The Serbian FA did not take up an allocation of tickets for sale, for general sale, shall we say, and the 213 that are here are officials and invited guests and the like. Welcome out. Can't keep that in play. Aldebarreld and Vertonghen formed such a strong partnership in the middle of the Ajax defence for a couple of years before the Tongan's departure. Here's Shadley. Tried to thread it through for Benteke, didn't quite come off. 
Belgium have struggled to qualify for tournaments recently. Not at Euro 2012. In fact, they haven't qualified for a Euro since the year 2000. Mr. Dembele was about to come on for Marouane Fellaini. Instead, it seems that Eden Hazard is going to get a run out in a minute. He's got his tracksuit off and stretching his legs. He has been suffering from a hamstring that he collected playing for Chelsea. That's beaten away by Courtois. Markovic tries the curler. And it'll be a goal kick. Tadic knocked it well into the middle. And Eden Hazard gets ready to get a little bit of international action to finish off the season. A warm applause all around the stadium for Kevin Miralas. Replaced by Eden Hazard, 37th appearance, and listen to the noise in the stadium for the introduction of Hazard. A very special talent. Sometimes he can go a little bit missing, but when he's on form and affecting play, he is a man to watch. Chelsea played, paid an enormous fee to bring him from Lille, who only won the double in 2011. Subotic. Kalarov tries to join the attack, has to go backwards. Vyshevac. Fesa. Now Kolarov. Well, that's a magnificent save. Absolutely stunning. And just a warning there for Belgium that they haven't got it all wrapped up yet. Brilliant header. From Faser. Here's Fellaini. Score of the second goal. De Bruyne has a go. That's way over the bar. But the goal he scored earlier has moved him on to three for this qualifying campaign. Well, let's have another look at this. Because this is a top quality cross. And what a save. That is. Well, really, what more can you do? Lubomir Faisa. Still without an international goal. This is much livelier from Serbia. That second goal seems to have shaken them into action the game's getting a little bit more stretched and open now look at that from Azar stays on his feet and rides the second challenge as well and here's De Bruyne oh Benteke got it all wrong well I don't think Benteke can believe it and nor can Kevin De Bruyne but it all starts with this from Azar and he's away. And look at the weight of the pass. Just on side Benteke. But a dreadful connection. And a waste of a really good goal scoring opportunity. Well, there were times when the game was a little bit flat, but it's it's open and 
more engaging now. As Serbia absolutely have to come out of their shell, and as they do so, they leave gaps for the counter-attack, as we saw just a moment ago. Belgium, four wins out of four, including that 4-2 victory in the USA. They've been in great form recently, heading for a fifth consecutive victory. Basta trying to do something about that. This has gone free kick to Belgium. A double change going to be made. We understand for Serbia. Well, you can hear this reaction in the stadium, and that is because the giant screen is showing. An amazing score. Croatia losing to Scotland tonight. And that is a final score. Off goes Mitrovic. And he's replaced by Marko Skepovic. Milivojevic goes off and on comes Radosav Petrovic to replace him. Now Skepovic is a striker, so that is very much striker for a striker. Radosav, Radosav Petrovic is a midfielder, so it's no great change to the formation. It's not as if he's gone for extra firepower. As uh, Sinisa Mihailovic. Well, the crowd are getting very, very excited in the stadium now because that defeat for Scotland, uh, sorry, for Croatia at home against Scotland. What a win that is for Gordon Strachan's team, by the way. Me means that uh, Belgium. Our top of the group no longer on goal difference but on th but by three points if they can keep it like this until the end of the match we have 20 minutes remaining and that change we talked about earlier that uh, I think Marouane Fellaini postponed with his headed goal is soon to take place with Musa Dembele coming on Just a few signs that uh, Belgium losing their concentration a little bit goalkeeper having to make a few saves in the last few minutes comfortable enough for Courtois the one that wasn't was the astonishing header from Lubomir Facer. Certainly an astonishing save. And there's confirmation of the substitution with Musa Dembele replacing Marouan Fellaini. Uh, Fellaini, scorer of his first goal in this qualifying campaign tonight. And his seventh in all for the Red Devils. So that's two substitutions now being made by each team as we move into the final 20 minutes. And Belgium are looking comfortable. Unbeaten in Group A, top on goal difference from Croatia. And if it stays like this, they will be top by three points. And really in a very, very good position indeed to claim top spot and all that goes with it. And what goes with it is automatic qualification for the World Cup 2014 in Brazil a year from now. Far too long since Belgium partook in the finals. 2002. Reached the semi-finals in 1986. That was the high point of the Gitis team. Here's De Bruyne. Yes. 
momentary lapse in concentration there. And the ball goes out under the Tonnen's foot. And here's Ivanovic with the throw. Serbia needs something very, very special now. Benteke. In the end, the shot lacks power. Scored two against the USA in that friendly at the end of May. USA were poor that night, though. Some of the defending was grim. They could have lost by more. Vyshevac gets it back from Markovic. Skepovic makes a run and hopes to get the ball. Here is Skepovic. He's given that away to Benteke. Chadli. Still Nasser Chadli. He's just a little bit off balance when he let go there with the shot. Remember, Serbia must win or they are out of contention. And it isn't looking good for Sinisa Mihailovic at the moment and his Serbian players. We'll see if he carries out his threat to resign if Serbia lose this match. Well, Belgium are heading for a record of one defeat in 11. Last defeat was in a friendly in Romania in November, towards the end of last year, unbeaten in 2013. Things are going very smoothly indeed for Mark Wilmot's side. Shadley, his Musa Dembele. Has a, got such a low centre of gravity and such phenomenal balance in Azar. Here's Witson. Azar again. Through the legs there of Petrovic. Basically uses his body well there to make sure that he won the free kick. Well, Belgium, their next fixture is a friendly against France in the middle of August. And then it gets serious. They travel to Scotland, and then they travel to Croatia. Here's Benteke. Forced wide by Subotic's tackle. And he's brought in Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, and the cross if it had had a bit more curl on it might just have found Benteke it's a good defending in there from Subotic to force Benteke wide here's De Bruyne Witzel Hasn't got forward much, Witzel. His, his uh, job is defensive. But what a good job he's done in front of the back four. There's a strong challenge there, and Basta has come out worse. Belgian players go to the side to take on some liquid.
Well, it was Basta with the challenge. And he's still on the ground receiving treatment. Tadic passing on some instructions from Mikhailovic. Dusan Basta of Udinese. Former Red Star player, joined Red Star at the age of 13. Won a couple of leagues and a couple of cups with them before moving to Udinese. Well, Basta's all right and allowed to come back onto the pitch. Here's Shadley, who's had a busy game in the Belgian midfield. Azar. De Bruyne. As I can't gather on that occasion. Skepovic. And Kolarov can't keep hold of the ball. And here come Belgium again. Vishevac tidies up. Well, for Serbia, they took seven points from the opening six games. If they lose this one, that's seven from seven. That is not the sort of form that will get you qualif qualified for a World Cup. Not helped tonight by missing out on Nastasic, who's had such a good first season at Manchester City in the Premier League. He's been keeping the England international Jolie and Lescott out of their side. And of course, playing alongside Vincent Company. And Mihailovic is in dispute with a couple of players, most notably Adam Lajic. There's a shove there. Quickly taken free kick. Petrovic um, injured. Here's the substitute, Skepovic. He's won a corner. Lazar Markovic will take the corner kick. <laughs> well, Bishevac looks at the referee as if to say, you've got to be joking, that was surely a corner. Referee Lanois isn't about to change his mind. Well, we are inside the final ten minutes. And it really is an embarrassment of Richard's for Belgium at the moment. Romelu Lukaku, again, another player who's had a very, very good season. Another Chelsea player out on loan, actually. He's been with West Bromwich Albion. And I think he's concerned that if he goes back to Chelsea, he won't get enough first-team action under the new coach. Jose Mourinho, you know the one. But he's about to get a run out for the final few minutes. Ivanovic is unlucky there to come off him and gone for a goal kick. And there's confirmation of that change. Romelu Lukaku coming on to replace Kevin De Bruyne, who has really had a splendid game. Busy on that right wing. Scorer of the opening goal. And a threat to the Serbian defence throughout. Well, Serbia now have to face the final few minutes with both Lukaku and Benteke on the pitch. And that is a considerable 
physical threat. Here's Lukaku getting involved straight away. Tidily done by Petrovic. Here's Kolarov. But the shot is way, way wide from Dusan, Dusan Tadic. Made his debut for Vojvodina at the age of 18. And there, look at the appreciation from his teammates for Kevin De Bruyne. Facer. Tadic will take the corner for Serbia. up with a throw to Belgium they've had a real problem scoring goals away from home no away goal in qualifying yet for Serbia and that's really not good enough well Sinisa Mihailovic the Serbian coach said that Belgium are in Europe's top three before this game, Jan Vertonghen agrees only Germany and Spain are better than us. I'm not sure that we've quite seen Belgium at their absolute best tonight, but they've certainly looked comfortable against the Serbian team that lack quality in key positions, it has to be said. Shadley dispossessed. Offside given, coming back from an offside position. Lukaku doesn't agree. And this is the fourth away game in Group A for Serbia. And still no goal. Well, it did take a very good save from Courtois to keep it that way earlier on. Tadic on his heels there and too easily dispossessed by Odevarelt. Face up. Tadic with the ball in. Basta will chase it. Oh, Basta gets a free kick. Witzel can't believe it. And this is a free kick in a dangerous position. Four minutes of the 90 remain. There will be a bit of time to be added on. Again, we've had the odd injury in this second half. Now Belgium were at six consecutive World Cups from 82 to 2002. They are extremely well placed now. Top of this group by three points from Croatia. So perhaps their trip to Scotland next time is uh, not as simple as it might once have been thought to be. They've got a new coach in Gordon Strachan. That's beautifully put away by Kolarov. Well, he has got a good left foot. His earlier attempt at a free kick 
caused no problem at all, but that one finds the net. And finally, Serbia have an away goal in this qualifying campaign. Beautifully struck. It's 2-1. You never know, Belgium might just have a nervous last three minutes or so. Something for those few travelling supporters to cheer. Well, there will be two more minutes to play and then three added to that. And Serbia will try and use that to get something out of the game. But here's Lukaku. It's well defended by Bishevac. Oh, and the free kick. Well, surely they were both at it. But the free kick has been given the defender's way. And Milan... Bishevac, who plays his football in France with Lyon. Good well there to snuff out the danger, Bishevac. Witzel. Here's Shadley. Well, with Serbia starting to sense that they could maybe get something out of this game, it wasn't a very good ball from Aldebaras. Good interception, though, by Benteke. He's found Lukaku. The touch is too heavy. And there's a little clip there on Vladimir Stojkovic as he went past. But this is poor defending can't afford to give the ball away there and Subotic did but that touch was heavy from Lukaku just watch the goalkeeper here just gets clattered on the way through by Lukaku but he's up and getting on with it and Belgium have a throw Alderweireld to take Subotic back to his goalkeeper. Stokovic will look to get this forward as quickly as he can. Basta flicks it on. Markovic beaten to it by Aldebarelt. Confirmation of those three extra minutes. Added to the half, Markovic uses Petrovic. Basta, dispossessed by company. Company clears again. Well, this time the free kick goes Belgium's way, and out comes the yellow card as well. well There's quite a tussle developing between Milan Bishevac and Romelu Lukaku. Company. Tries to find Azar. Stokovic is in a hurry. Bishevac sends it forward. Company again does well. No foul on Ivanovic and the counter-attack is on. 
Lukaku desperate for the ball played in front of him to run onto is Azar. Benteke tried to find Azar again. Well, I wonder what the visiting scouts have made. Large number, 15 or 20 of the top clubs in Europe represented tonight. And with respect to the Serbs, I think that it was mostly Belgian players that were being watched. Well, Mark Wilmot hasn't got a stopwatch and doesn't know that there's at least another 30 seconds. Stokovic forward. Defended by Van Burton. Referee not fooled, nor on the second occasion either. It'll be a corner and nothing more. I think it's Petrovic there, very quick to go to ground. Well, we've already seen one goal from a corner kick in this game, put away by Maruan Fellaini. Kolarov's corner curls. It's beaten away by Courtois. And as the ball is cleared upfield by Nasser Shadley, the final whistle goes. They already know the score from Zagreb. Croatia nil, Scotland one. They've beaten Serbia by two goals to one. And as a consequence, they are top of the group by three points. Belgium tonight in Brussels against Serbia have taken a huge step forward in the quest for a place in Brazil next summer. As for Serbia, they are eliminated. They will not be going to Belgium. We'll see what Sinisa Mihailovic does, whether he continues as Serbia coach or not. But tonight, it's all about the Belgians. It's all about the Red Devils. They have beaten Serbia by two goals to one.
It was the seventh game in Group A for both these teams. And it's getting to the stage where there's an awful lot at stake. On 13 minutes came the breakthrough for Belgium. They knew that a win would guarantee them a place in the top two in the group. And Kevin De Bruyne's header set them on their way in front of the King and Queen of Belgium. Branislav Ivanovic almost equalised before half-time for Serbia. It wasn't on target, but it wasn't far off. Good work from Basta out wide, set up a chance for Lazar Markovic. It needed a better finish. In the second half, Serbia knew that they had to try and get themselves back into it. Dusan Basta forced a decent save out of Tibois Courtois. But a De Bruyne free kick led to a De Bruyne corner kick. And that led to 2 0 on the hour. Marouane Fellaini with the header for his seventh international goal and his first in Group A. Now Belgium were looking comfortable. The fans could relax. But Serbia knew that they had to do something. And Lazar Markovic's header forced the most stunning stave out of Courtois. Right at the end, Alexander Kolarov fired in a free kick for Serbia's first away goal in this qualifying round. But Belgium have taken all three points in the Stade Rao Baudouin. They've beaten Serbia by two goals to one. And with other results going their way, they now find themselves topping the group not no longer on goal difference but by three clear points